Guys, literally Louis Vuitton has some of the best customer service I have lit I have like ever had. Basically, I bought the Teddy Fleece Speedy 25 Bandolier from Louis Vuitton months ago. I was always kind of on the fence with that bag. I was like, oh, I really like it, but I don't know if it's really that practical. Is the little fuzzy stuff gonna fall off? With Louis Vuitton, you get a 30-day return window. As long as you don't use the product, you have 30 days to return it. Well, that 30 days came and it went and I still was undecided whether I wanted to keep the bag or not. So it really just sat in its little box, in its dust bag, on my shelf for months. So I was telling my sales associate at Louis Vuitton that I had the Teddy Fleece bag and the Speedy 25 and I wasn't happy with it. I was like, you know what, I haven't used it. It's just been sitting there. It's like, gives me anxiety. Everyone's like, oh my gosh, this bag is like more delicate than like a Chanel lambskin bag. You know, bring it in and stop and talk to a manager, talk to one of the store directors and see like what can be done. So I was like, okay. And then I still waited. I still waited like a month because I was just like, I don't know if I can do that. Like, what are they gonna laugh at me? Are they gonna like, say, okay, you're shunned from the store, like, go. Like, I, I just didn't know what they were gonna say, so I, like, enlisted one of my good friends, and I was like, go with me, because, like, I can't go by myself. Like, I, this is a two-man project. And he was like, okay, I'll go with you for, like, moral support. We go to the store, I go upstairs, I talk to customer service, and, like, my heart is pounding. I'm like, what are they going to say to me? And um, I get up there, and they couldn't have been more friendly. They were like, okay, What's the situation? I explained it to the girl at customer service and then one of the managers uh, slash store directors was like walking by and she's like, oh, what are we doing here with our Teddy, with our Teddy fleece? What, what are we doing with her? And I was like, well, she gives me a little bit of anxiety and I'm looking to exchange her or like rehome her. She kind of explained to me that that bag is really delicate and that that Sherpa, like that, that fleece, that teddy fleece on it, it, it does kind of shed a little bit and you just have to be a little careful with it. So after she explained to me like how delicate that bag was, she was just like, okay, so if you want a refund, that's fine. We can give you a refund on your original payment or you can just get a store credit and pick something else out. I, I, I was just like, what? Like I could get a, I, I was like, oh, it's been over 30 days. She goes, oh yeah, no problem. I was like, are you in a good mood today? <laughs> taken care of as a customer. I was just like really blown away with the customer service. So I went downstairs and of course, of course, there's always something at Louis Vuitton that I'm like have my eye on or looking at. So this bag, I've seen it. I've seen it for a few years, but it was never in the leather or the texture. It was never really in like the exact form that I wanted. My sales associate even gave me one of these like really thick dust bags like normally you have the dust bags that like kind of flop over and they're a little thinner this one's like lined with like velvet inside it's so nice you guys okay i'm just i'm just gonna show you i'm obsessed here we go here we go you guys wait it's like kind of stuck in there i need to open it more okay technical difficulties all right let's get her let's get her ready for her close-up are we good Okay, so I got the City Steamer in the mini size. This does also come in a PM size and maybe even one size bigger than the PM size, but this is the smallest size available. This is the mini size. It's just teeny tiny and it's just so adorable. I love these little straps. So she told me that this season, this bag just came out, she thought maybe three months ago. This style has been around for a while but this particular combination just came out and this is like the grained calfskin and then the smooth calfskin up on the top so this is the black this season they do also have this like fuchsia like hot pink and i really wanted to see that but it wasn't in the store i do believe it's available online though and then they also had it in like this stark white and i was like "Ooh, i kind of want to see that too she's like we don't have it but it's white like the handles will get so dirty. It does come with a strap, and the strap, you really can't wear it cross body. You hook it onto one hook in the front here, and then one hook in the back. And 
This strap is not adjustable and it's kind of a low strap. It's not really uh, meant to be crossbody, I don't think. I'm 5'4", and when I put this on crossbody, it sat a little high, and because the handles don't like flop inside or flop to the front, the handles are like sitting right under your chest, and it, it's just kind of weird. So it's not really a bag that I would wear uh, crossbody. I would just definitely wear it over my shoulder, and actually, this bag really, I really would just wear it with the handles. I think it's really cute as just a top handle type bag, just a little carry bag. And because it's kind of a small bag, I don't really think, you can't put that much in here, so it's not gonna get too heavy. But you guys, I'm loving this. Let me get a few things, let me get a few things for you and show you how it fits inside. So I don't carry too much stuff in my handbag, I just, I try to put as little as possible in here. So the first thing that I'm gonna put in here is my key holder, and I did switch to the Chanel one. I did use the Louis Vuitton one for three years, but I did recently just switch to that one. So I'm just gonna put that on the side. Right now it doesn't wanna stay up until other stuff is in there, but it will eventually go on the side. Then I have my wallet that I've just been obsessed with that I've been using lately. So it's just really like a card holder, but I use it as a small wallet. So I will probably like stack those like that on the side. I have my hand sanitizer. Whatever lip product I am wearing that day, this is what I'm wearing right now. This is Chanel 804. It is a very pinky lip gloss. I do also have a little bit of pink lipstick underneath and then I put the pink lip gloss on top. It's like been my favorite combination lately. So I'll put that in there. Oh, you know what? Actually, that I can probably put in this pocket just so it's easy access. I have my AirPods that I literally never leave the house without my AirPods. So those can actually go into that pocket as well with my lip gloss. This is really all that I would carry on a day-to-day -day basis, but if I am out and about and I'm like vlogging, and I want my vlogging camera, that would also fit you know, perfectly in here. And then if I did want to put my cell phone in here, I could put it right there. So there we go, packed, ready to go. I love how everything kind of fits in there just perfectly. I really didn't think that little, that little like, pocket here was gonna be very much use. So I was like, eh, I'm not, not sure I'll use that. But actually it's perfect for like my AirPods and whatever lip product I'm using. Now this one does stick out a little bit because it's a little bit longer, but if you were just wearing a regular lipstick and you were carrying it that day, it wouldn't come to the top of the bag at all. Right now I can kind of like, it's like the first thing I see, but it's cute packaging so it's fine. I think with the cell phone in the back pocket, it is a little bit like stretching the back of the bag out just a little bit. So I probably would just put it in the body of the bag. It really does just fit in there perfectly. I'm so excited. I love this bag, you guys. What do you think? Do any of you guys have this bag? Are you thinking about getting this bag? Is it on your wish list? I always know when I made kind of a bad decision on a handbag or if I bought something impulsively because it'll just sit in the dust bag and I won't use it. But this bag I just got and I like could not wait to show you guys because I'm like, want to use it today. That's when I know I made a good decision. So I'm excited to wear this and it is a little bit, it is a little bit heavy with this camera. I don't think I'm gonna walk around with my vlogging camera or if my vlogging camera is going in here, I'm gonna use the strap because then I can put it on my shoulder and it won't be too heavy or too aggressive. So guys, really, if you have purchased something at Louis Vuitton and you're not satisfied or not completely happy with it, even, I would say, even if you've used the bag, I would definitely go to Louis Vuitton, talk to the customer service, talk to the manager, and really just kind of see what can be done because I know I've had several bags have had like defects or I just haven't been happy. and. 
Really, Louis Vuitton has always tried to keep me as a customer and keep, do their best to do whatever they can to fix the situations. That's why they really are one of my like favorite designer houses because I just I I, I can always rely on their customer service. I still do like buying pre-loved. You guys know how much I love Fashion File, but I will keep going back to Louis Vuitton because they've just proven time after time how awesome their customer service is. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time.